Well, um, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm uh, Courtney Birchmeyer, and I'm the editor at Group Tour Magazine and a youth travel planner. Uh, Group Tour Magazine is a resource for group tour operators and planners. Uh, and our main goal is really to inspire um, travel to uh, destinations and attractions across the country. Uh, we publish four print editions each year, along with digital only content on our website that includes articles and itineraries and features, um, all highlighting the best group friendly suppliers, uh, just like our good friends here at Experience Grand Rapids. So I'm fortunate to live only about uh, 30 minutes from Grand Rapids, so I'm very familiar uh, with all the great tour stops you're going to hear about today. Um, Experience Grand Rapids has been a longtime partner with our magazine, and I'm really excited for you all to learn about their fantastic group offerings. Um, so I just have a few housekeeping things um, to touch on. Uh, we are recording this video um, and we will share it with everybody after the call. Um, we appreciate everyone taking the time to join us today, um, but we do wanna be respectful of your busy schedules. So we will try to keep this as close to 30 minutes as possible. Uh, please try to keep yourselves on mute throughout the call um, until the Q&A portion at the end. Um, and if you do have questions along the way, please uh, drop those questions in the chat um, and we'll get to those at the end of the call. Uh, so now I'm really excited to introduce you all to Brittany Avery, the specialty sales manager with Experience Grand Rapids and Katie Racy, uh, guest services manager with Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. Hi everyone, I'm Brittany Avery. I am the specialty sales manager here at Experience Grand Rapids. I specialize in group tour. With me is Katie Racy. Hello everyone, I am the guest services manager at Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. I have been there full time for about 13 years in several different positions. So I'm so excited to talk about Meyer Gardens today. So one of the first questions we get is where is Grand Rapids? We are the second largest city in Michigan, located on the west side of the state. We're about equal distance from Chicago and Detroit and just 30 minutes from the lakeshore. If you need to fly in, we do have the second largest airport in Michigan with service from six major airlines. We also have over 10,000 rooms countywide with more being built and we are ranked as a top foodie destination. Grand Rapids hosts many annual events throughout the years. One of our largest is Art Prize, which is happening right now. This, is a, this happens for 19 days in the fall. Art is the main focus in Grand Rapids. And then art from around the world pops up in every inch of downtown in nearly 200 venues from museums, galleries, bars, and restaurants, theaters, bridges, and more. Anyone willing to host can find art to display. The best part, it's all free and open to the public. Anytime you're in Grand Rapids, you may also catch glimpses of art prizes past with installations that have become permanent after the event. Another large event is the American Culture Society Quilt Week. They host their second largest show every year in Grand Rapids at the DeVos Place Convention Center. This event hosts hundreds of beautiful and handcrafted quilts, classes, and the vendor hall that AQS is known for. This year, there was a new food court and coffee cart just outside of the show as well. Finally, the Holland Tulip Time Festival is located just 25 miles from Grand Rapids in Holland, Michigan. This event celebrates the Dutch heritage of Holland while showcasing hundreds of thousands of tulips. Visitors can also enjoy national entertainment acts, events and activities for all ages, and some of the largest parades in Michigan. Staying in Grand Rapids does have the added bonus of including Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park on your visit. Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park is Grand Rapids' most visited attraction. Katie, when a group visits the gardens, what are opportunities and experiences that they can expect? Well, we are ready for group tours. Um, our new Welcome Center was open in January of 2021 and allows motor coaches and vehicles to pull right up to the front door. West restrooms and wheelchairs are close by, and immediately when you walk in, horticulture and art greet guests. And there is plenty to see while waiting for the tram, which is what a lot of group tours do. And I will touch on that in a minute. Um, in the new Welcome Center, there is also a 20 minute welcome video that guests can watch that give them a great first introduction to the history of Meyer Gardens so that they have that as their stepping stone before they start their tours for the day. 
We also were recently ranked as number 45 on the world's most visited art museums list, um, which we are truly honored by and just makes us all that more excited to welcome groups from all over. Wonderful. So what are the costs for a group to visit? Absolutely. It's $12.50 per adult for groups of 10 or more adults. And then a train ride is $5 per person. And what we've seen as a great uh, group experience is to come into the gardens, get familiar with the new Welcome Center, and then within a half hour, hour or so, take a tram tour, which is about a 45 minute narrated tour throughout our 158 acre gardens and sculpture park. It does a great overview and gives you a very good uh, lay of the land on all of the, the main highlights of art and sculpture. Wonderful. How long is a typical visit? A typical visit is about three hours. You can flex it how you would like, but we recommend three hours. Perfect. Is there any shopping on site? Absolutely. We have a wonderful gift shop um, that is specifically curated by the Meyer Gardens team. So we have all sorts of unique gifts as well as uh, unique offerings from area horticulturists as well as area artists. And as part of the group experience, everybody in the group tour gets a voucher for a free gift when they make a purchase in the gift shop. Awesome. Yeah. Um, what about food? I mean, three hours is a decent length of time. Absolutely. We also have a wonderful cafe. Um, it's cafeteria style. So what you can do is, but it at the same time has high end sandwiches and salads, um, all healthy, um, as well as filling. And so you can come in and grab a sandwich or a salad, get a specialty drink and sit down and eat lunch in the cafe. We also offer uh, cafe vouchers to, group, to groups as well. Amazing. Um, let's flip a little bit and talk about some of the activities and events that they can experience. And you guys have many exhibits that you do throughout the year. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about those. We do. So we will have rotating sculpture exhibitions in our indoor gallery throughout the year. Um, but then we also have some beloved annual events, which are great for group tours. Um, I will first touch on the Fred and Dorothy Victor Butterflies Are Blooming. So in the months of March and April in our tropical conservatory, in our Lena Meyer Tropical Conservatory, we have um, butterflies, tropical butterflies of all different kinds flying around throughout those two months where guests can come into the conservatory and be with the butterflies. And March and April in Michigan can sometimes get a little chilly still. So um, the temperature is in the 80s. So you get to be transported to a tropical experience during those months and get to be around the butterflies. We also then have Chris the chrysanthemums and more exhibition, which is currently happening right now, where we have large splashes of color of all different types of mums throughout the gardens, as well as we have uh, different pumpkin selections throughout that you can take pictures by. Um, really just a great way to get into fall. And then in uh, November and December, we have the University of Michigan Health West Christmas and Holiday Traditions. We have over 40 different cultural traditions highlighted throughout Meyer Gardens. It's all indoors, so it is a great opportunity to get out and get into the holiday spirit at Meyer Gardens and look and observe all the different cultures um, and how they celebrate the holidays. Marvelous. Um, do you have any special exhibit space indoor where you do sculptures? Yes, we have an indoor sculpture gallery that was just remodeled. Um, and so that currently is showcasing the Yinka Shanabari exhibition. And then as we go into winter, we'll have a new exhibition coming up as well. Marvelous. Awesome. Is there anything else we should know about visiting the gardens? Again, I just would like to touch on that we are ready for groups. We, uh, we greet all of our groups. Uh, we, have, we are able to get you in, get you processed easily at the front desk. We have stickers for everyone. Um, so that they can go throughout the gardens freely throughout the day. If you want to come in, go to the cafe and then leave and go watch the welcome video and come back and forth. All of that is easily um, doable and easily set up 
so that uh, your tour guests can have a, just a very efficient, easy experience. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we also want to touch on the Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum. This has been named America's most entertaining presidential museum. The museum has information about President Ford's childhood and adolescent years, an exhibit all about Betty B. Ford, some of the original Watergate burglary tools, and a replica of the Oval Office. President and Betty Ford are laid to rest on site. Along with this, the museum hosts changing exhibits. In early 2023, there will be an exhibit from the National Guitar Museum called America at the Crossroads, the guitar and a changing nation that examines America's evolution through the lens of its most popular instrument. In early summer of 2023, an exhibit curated by the Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum will celebrate the 50th anniversary of Gerald Ford becoming Vice President of the United States. Recommended visiting time is one and a half to two hours. Group admission discounts are available for any group of 20 or more and tickets are currently $9 per person. Grand Rapids is also home to one of the largest historic urban districts in the country, Heritage Hill. It boasts Michigan's largest and finest collection of the 19th and 20th century houses, along with nearly every style of American architecture from Greek revival to prairie. While visiting Heritage Hill, we recommend stopping for a tour at the Meyer May House. Designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, this house was meticulously restored by Steelcase, a local furniture company in Grand Rapids. It boasts original furnishings and faithfully executed reproductions to experience a prairie house exactly as Frank Lloyd Wright intended. We have two amazing step on guides to take you on a tour through Heritage Hill. Candace Smith with Tours Around Michigan and Caroline Cook with Grand Rapids Running Tours can customize a tour directly to your group's needs. They'll do step on, walking, or a mix of both. Along with the Heritage Hill Tour, both of these companies also offer city, garden, church, and if you're feeling spooky, ghost tours. Robinettes is a local family owned and operated apple orchard. They're located about five minutes away from Frederick Meyer Gardens. We recommend spending an hour to an hour and a half here. You can shop their gift barn, enjoy the bakery, and taste local Michigan wine. They also have delicious lunch and free admission. The Grand Rapids Public Museum boasts one of Michigan's largest collection of historical and cultural artifacts, starting with A for automobiles through Z for zoology. With three floors of permanent and changing exhibits, this is an attraction you don't want to miss. The Grand Rapids Public Museum has a planetarium and a beautiful 1920s Spillman carousel on site. Before you leave, be sure to stroll through the streets of old Grand Rapids. Their 2023 temporary exhibits include fashion and nature, the power of poison, and ice age and snow. Discounts for admission are granted to groups 20 and over. Pricing is eight to $10 per person with add-ons available, such as a guided tour or a planetarium visit. The Grand Rapids Art Museum collection spans from Renaissance to modern art. They also share changing exhibits throughout the year. From June 15th to September 9th, 2023, Message from Our Planet, a digital and media art exhibition organized by the Toma Foundation will be on display. Call for group information and ticket prices. If you'd like to ex continue exploring history in Grand Rapids, we recommend visiting the Grand Rapids African American Museum and Archives or the Grand Lady Riverboat. The Grand Rapids African American Museum and Archives began with a mission to collect and retell the rich, colorful stories that compose the African American tapestry of Grand Rapids. The Grand Lady Riverboat is a two tier boat constructed in the style of a 1800 paddle wheel steamboat. These steamboats serve the communities along the Grand River. Your narrated crews will point out historic landings and town sites. To continue your farm and foodie tour, we recommend Ed Dunnebach and Girls Farm Market and the Downtown Market Grand Rapids. Ed Dunnebach and Girls Farm Market is fifth generation, family owned and operated. They offer fresh picked produce, sweet treats, Michigan made products and unique gifts. The family's pink barrel sellers crafts beer, wine and hard cider you can enjoy on site or at home. The downtown market is a low oil light comes on. Can you guys mute your phones for me, please? Do you think they put oil in? 
Thank you so much. The downtown market is a food lover's dream. With 20 plus diverse restaurants and artesian food vendors under one spacious, spacious roof. After eating, you can shop for food, staples, and gifts and visit the rooftop greenhouse. Broadway Grand Rapids brings the shows and songs of Broadway to the Midwest in an exciting way for groups. They work with the tour planner or the group leader to ensure your group can enjoy the show without breaking the bank. They offer discounts up to 20% off for select shows on groups of 10 or more. Sorry, pardon me for getting that. They also help by setting up easy payment plans with flexible payment options. From the time you pick up the phone until the standing ovation, booking with Broadway Grand Rapids makes the process easy and enjoyable. If you'd like to get out of the city while in Grand Rapids to explore town for shopping and lunch, we recommend Granville, Rockford, Lowell, and Ada. Drop off the coach and let your guests wander around the quaint downtown areas on their own. For more information about what to see and do in each of these places, please reach out to our team. Hands-on and crafting options are exploding in Grand Rapids and Kent County. We recommend making your own candles or room scents at Wax Poetic Candle Bar in Easttown, visiting Hammer and Stain to create your own customized sign in Granville, or experiencing one of our local painting tours. When you work with Experience Grand Rapids to book a hotel in Kent County, we will provide a grand box for your group. This box of treasures will have something for the guests, driver, and escort. Partner with us when booking to ensure your group receives this upon their arrival. Grand Rapids is a great place to hub and spoke from. We have many cities nearby with exciting attractions. Holland has Windmill Island Gardens featuring Duzwan, a historic windmill from the Netherlands, along with Veldheer Tulip Gardens. Saugatuck has dune rides to appeal to your adventurous side or local shopping. You can walk Grand Haven's Boardwalk as you shop through the beach town. Muskegon allows the opportunity to visit more historical homes or step inside USS Silversides, a decommissioned naval ship. Big Rapids is home to the Jim Crow Museum located on Ferris State University's campus and Battle Creek and Kalamazoo both have ties to the Underground Railroad. Kalamazoo is also home to Michigan's largest automobile collection, the Gilmore Car Museum. Thank you all again for taking the time to join us and hear about what Grand Rapids has to offer. We would love to answer any questions at this time. If anyone would like to submit a question via the chat, you can do that. Or if it's easier to hop off of mute and ask it, uh, there is one uh, asking, when would be the best time to visit Grand Rapids to get the most out of a tour visit? Of course, we recommend um, visiting in the spring, summer, or fall. Winter is amazing, but we are Michigan, so it does get a little chilly. So for us, we recommend spring, summer, or fall. Do you guys feel the same about the gardens? Agreed. Yes, yeah, perfect. There is another question. Will this PowerPoint be made available after the meeting? Yes, we are recording this entire uh, presentation and we will send that out so that you may view it online after the meeting. I was just going to say, this was my first year being a friend of Meyer Gardens, all because I wanted to go to the Temptations concert. So uh, uh, I did enjoy that. I will Great. probably be next year. Great. And I'm in Lansing, so. Good. Another question that came in, uh, where are you seeing tours traveling from typically to Grand Rapids? Yeah, I mean, most tours um, do come from the Midwest, but we see tours from all over the United States. So anywhere that your groups would be traveling from, we'd be happy to work with you to create an itinerary and make it work for your group's needs. Hi, Tammy with Twin Travel Concepts in Cleveland, Ohio. I have one of my motor coach groups that wants to do the quilt gardens and the AQS um, in 23. I, I, I need some suggestions and some assistance with restaurants, hotels, 
Um, and a, a couple other things to round out their tour while they're in Grand Rapids. Can you all help me out with that? Of course. So Tammy, I will probably reach out to you um, separately just to find out more about the group and what their interest levels are for food and restaurants. Um, and hotels as well, just because there's a little bit more that I know you can give me a little bit more information outside. So I'll give you a call later. <laughs> Perfect. I appreciate that. Thank you. My pleasure. Um, I also, uh, you know, one more thing about Grand Rapids, especially during the heavy COVID times, and I did a lot of designing for um, FIT, in particular couples who didn't need to be entertained, and they just needed to go somewhere, and they just needed to enjoy the ambiance, and Grand Rapids was one of the cities I picked when I was planning FIT tours. Thank you so much, Cheryl. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Another question that came in, uh, you highlighted the gardens, you highlighted, uh, you know, the Gerald Ford Museum, uh, a few of the other things. Um, what is a, a very common uh, itinerary for a group tour coming to Grand Rapids? What are some of the common uh, experiences that do occur in addition to the garden to the Gerald Ford Museum? Yeah, I mean, those are, like I said, those are a lot of the big ones. Um, and depending on how long your itinerary is, those will take a good amount of your itinerary. Um, we have noticed people doing um, the shopping in the small towns. We have three major, major malls in Grand Rapids that people can go to as well. So we see people visit those. We've got a Tanger Outlet Mall. Um, we notice people dropping off and allowing their groups to explore the downtown area. It's walkable. You can get out and walk and stop at the restaurants on your own. It really depends on the groups that come are so different. It depends on what they want, but we can work with you to get those itineraries set. I don't recall you saying you're a big um, destination for brewery hopping. We are, yes. Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> so we yep. <laughs> we are known um, for, we're Beer City USA, so we are known for our breweries. We have many, Founders is our largest, but we can also set up a beer itinerary for you. Or wineries, cideries, mm -hmm. any craft beverages, coffee, we can handle all of that. Oh, another question. Uh, how far from Lake Michigan are you? About 30 minutes. Great question. Mm -hmm. Don't be shy. Another All right, well, I'm sure the Grand Rapids team would love to answer any additional questions that may come to mind following uh, this morning's experience. Uh, we will send out uh, a link to this presentation as well as their contact information so that you have it readily available. Uh, it's so encouraging to hear their excitement and interest in personalizing things and developing uh, you know, packages and experiences that will fit your tour and your customers' desires. Uh, that sounds uh, just really exciting. So unless there's anything else, and maybe the Grand Rapids team would like to sign off. Yeah, thank you all so much. We appreciate you coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks a lot. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Have a great day. You too.
<laughs> Good job, Courtney. Yeah, you too. All right. Um, anything that you would like me to follow up with him on? No, I think it. I think it went well. Um, you know, I'm hoping that we get some traction on the sending out. You know, the link to the rest of the people who couldn't join us. But right, right. All right. Well, thank you. I'll touch base with Jim. Okay. Sounds good. Bye. Thanks, Courtney. Bye.